A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Read from the New American Bible, St. Joseph edition. Chapters 4 and 6. Hear the word of the Lord, Israelites, for the Lord has a dispute with the inhabitants of the land. There is no fidelity, no loyalty, no knowledge of God in the land. Swearing, lying, murder, stealing, and adultery break out. Bloodshed follows bloodshed. Therefore the land dries up, and everything that dwells within it languishes. The beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and even the fish of the sea perish. But let no one accuse, let no one rebuke, with you is my dispute, priest. You will stumble in the day, and the prophet will stumble with you at night. I will make an end of your mother. My people are ruined for lack of knowledge, since you have rejected knowledge. I will reject you from serving at my priest. Since you have forgotten the law of God, I will also forget your children. The more they multiplied, the more they sinned against me. I will change their glory into shame. They feed on the sin of my people and are greedy for their iniquity. Like people, like priest, I will punish them for their ways and repay them for their deeds. They will eat but not be satisfied. They will promote prostitution but not increase because they have abandoned the Lord, devoting themselves to prostitution. Aged wine and new wine take away understanding. My people consult their piece of wood, and their wand makes pronouncements for them. For the spirit of prostitution has led them astray. They prostitute themselves, forsaking their God. On the mountain tops they offer sacrifice, and on the hills they burn incense beneath oak and poplar, and terebinth, because of their pleasant shade. Therefore your daughters prostitute themselves, and your daughter-in-laws commit adultery. I will not punish your daughters for their prostitution, nor your daughter-in-laws for their adultery, because the men themselves consort with prostitutes, and the temple women they offer sacrifice. Thus a people without understanding comes to ruin. Though you prostitute yourself, Israel, do not let Judah become guilty. Do not come to Gilgal. Do not go up to Beth Haven. Do not swear, as the Lord lives. For like a stubborn cow, Israel is stubborn. Will the Lord now pasture them, like lambs in a broad meadow? Ephraim is bound to idols. Let him alone. When their drinking is over, they give themselves to prostitutes. They love shame more than their honor. A wind has bound them up in its wings. They shall be ashamed because of their altars. I will go back to my place until they make reparation and seek my presence. In their affliction, they shall look for me. Come, let us return to the Lord, for it is he who has torn, but he will heal us. He has struck down, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us up to live in his presence. Let us know, let us strive to know the Lord, as certain as the dawn is his coming. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your loyalty is like the morning mist, like the dew that disappears early. For this reason I struck them down through the prophets. I killed them by the words of my mouth. My judgment shines forth like the light, for it is loyalty that I desire, not sacrifice, and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. But they at Adam violated the covenant where they, where they betrayed me. Gilead is a city of evildoers, tracked with blood, like brigades lying in wait is the band of priests. They murder on the road to Shechem. Indeed, they commit a monstrous crime. In the house of Israel I have seen horrible things. There is found Ephraim's prostitution. Israel is defiled. For you also, Judah, a harvest has been appointed.